What's up guys, Hoy here back again with another video. Today we are going to look at the one shot KOA setup. I've had tons of comments asking for builds of my characters that yield high damage, so, or high damage yield, I think that's the correct way to say it. So, I'm gonna start a whole new, like, series of videos where I show um, at least my highest damage dealing characters anyway, and like, I'm gonna go through their gear rolls, go through their talents, go through their stats and sort of give a, an outlook on the best KOA build. Not necessarily the only best KOA build, there are a few builds out there that I know personally that do very good damage in uh, raids and any pretty much any um, raid mode or any game mode of this game. So my, raid, my uh, KOA setup is basically six stars right now. Um, I don't have enough orbs to seven star him yet. And my first character to 7 star is Multiverse Flash, so I'm not going to 7 star him just yet. Um, basically, level 70 specials. Not level 80. Personally, I don't think you need it right now. Mainly because at this with this build, he does a lot of damage already. Uh, maxed out passives all across the board. Level 5s, level 5s. His passives do not go to level 6 or 7. Um, gears are all level 70. Um, you don't need the God Killer. Um, if I were to say to, um, if you're going to use Aquaman, this Aquaman in uh, League Raids, I would say use something like the Beta Club or the All Blades or even the Claws. Um, but if you're going to go into a specific um, solo raid mode, so you just use whatever artifact that is favored within that specific event. So now that the the last contract solar raids are going on something like the god killer who has specifically um specific attack and health boosts for the team this artifact is better than most or this of the uh, promethium artifact set the all the promethium artifacts are suitable to use in the last contract whereas if you're going to uh, play something like the advents of chaos an artifact like the chakra will do good because it gives you attack and health boost for the team um, in that specific solar raid event and of course with the dawn of apocalypse you have like something like the father box and then with the rise of krypton you have something like the kryptonian spear so i'm going i'm just gonna have this uh, oh talents um i got lucky i would say i wouldn't say these are the best um set set of talents uh if some maybe if you don't want to have any armor piercing you could have some more crit chance and more crit damage in the talents and then you could take out some of them from the gear and then put more attacks you'll end up with higher attack like maybe around like 5.8 maybe even 6k while maintaining uh 300 crit damage and uh set s above 65 crit chance um speaking of stats uh 5.3k attack uh defense you don't really need because you're only going to use him for his special three and special two of course when you build up his buffs but also you're going to use him just to his special three, then you're gonna connect it with your own combo, and then you're gonna tag out, and then build up a combo with either Dr. Fate or Shazam or whatever combo builder that you use. Um, and he also has 69% fast attack because when he when he's fully buffed up and he did all his necessary specials, he could do a lot of damage for with even his basics. So we get what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Arena because I think uh, Arena is more practical. In terms of, because uh, I know personally, my build wouldn't one shot like something like a a T8 boss in uh, league raids. So I'm just gonna show how much damage he can do, and then you guys can either whatever with whatever artifacts you have, you could use them in whatever mode you want to use. If you want to build Aquaman this way, this is how he shines. So let's just go. For this video, I'm going to use Reverse Flash as a combo builder. So if any of you guys have Reverse Flash as a damage dealer, I apologize for this. All right. Uh-huh. I was half expecting him to do a special, to be honest. All right. There's no place to hide. tag out just to swap power or, or not now I, I could have dodged that special all right I'm gonna swap power again 
I could have dodged a special and then um, avoid the dot damage, but uh, now with these characters, they are um, critical attack resistant. So if you go with a full attack build, your Aquaman will shine there. Soft power again. Of course, since they had Brainiac, their um, attacks, their basic attacks are doing damage to me even though I'm blocking. But this this video, these series I'm going to make is most likely mostly to showcase the stats and how my characters are built because uh, I do decent damage. I'm not like one-shotting T8 bosses or anything, but I do around like 30 million to 45, 50 million depending on which artifact I go with with this Aquaman build. So I could go with something like um, this one. This guy has a seven star Batman Ninja Lord Joker, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Of course with the bear you have to be very careful. He also has a lethal build, which is cool. His armor piercing, uh, Oh, it's also a 7-star Aquaman as well. He has one of those artifacts where it gives you um, armor piercing specials. I'll set the focus really smart. I have to dash out because my Aquaman would have died. I'm going to sacrifice my J left real quick. Obviously, you're not fighting Dark Side in Solar Raids or any raid tip for that matter. So, this fight. Alright. Armor Piercing Specials. I need that artifact. Which artifact is this? Okay, be very careful. Well, he's back. This whole time, Darkseid hasn't tagged in. I'm just really focused right now. And they're also critical attack resistant. That's already good. save right there but yeah i mean you're not gonna fight against any dark side but my aquaman held his own um although i probably could have kept him in the battle for longer but i kind of didn't want to lose the point of the video where i just wanted my aquaman to die i know my limitations when it comes to like something like lethal builds and armor piercing builds i don't have i personally don't have the artifact that grants you armor piercing specials maybe i'll get it in the future who knows if i go if they have like a, a gem based chest where i just save a lot of gems and spend it on a chest that gives me new artifacts hopefully that comes soon or not <laughs> oh the uh the time just refreshed so we're gonna go with a few more fights here that's a good example so i i mean i'm sure once you seven star your aquaman if you save enough orbs to do that you'll be much better and you'll expect a huge attack boost and all that stuff but um if you're not able to seven star your character there's still hope as you can see, my uh, my hits are doing good, even though I didn't do any buffs yet. Gotta be very careful of the ninja team because they're lethal and insane. Oh well, I'm blind. I don't know if the special will connect. It did. I tagged that reverse flash, but I'm gonna get tagged out again. Or not? I stayed away from the banana. Stay away from the banana. Stay away from the banana. Okay. You thought. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. If you want to dash back, I'm, I'm fine with that, you know. Like I said, be very careful with lethal stuff. Of course, with this Aquaman build, you definitely can uh, one-shot bosses in T6. I have done it before. Um, you just need either, if you could do it with the all blades, you could probably even do it with the claws. You won't be able to stun any bosses when you use the claws, just a heads up, but you can use all blades if you time it really well, if you use the correct characters and the, the, the fastest way to build combo. I would suggest personally like Dr. Fate with maybe a level, you don't even need a level 8 father box, you could even use a level 1 father box. Or you can just not use a father box at all and just depend on um, if you have something like the Staff of Horus where you can uh, mitigate or at least minimize the damage that's incoming. You could put that in your Dr. Fate and then use Dr. Fate as a combo builder. And I prefer Dr. Fate as a combo builder because um, he his combo is very fast. He's a very he's a very fast character. He's uh, someone you would use um, consistently for a combo building. Um, for the record, I dash back, but it's all, it's all good. Now the thing is, I don't want to I don't want to tag in right here because I know my Aquaman, since he's not stun resistant, he's gonna get Sorry, stunned by stop. Joker because that's his passive. But I could dash, tag back in, take up Poison Ivy. I spoke too soon. Yeah, she has an artifact that. Um, oh my god. Okay, I'm blo I, I, was, I was literally blocking, but I'm gonna let that slide because, you know, mechanics in that. But uh, Poison Ivy had one of those artifacts where, kind of like how Brainiac's passive works, where it uh, has a damage cap. You can't really do too much damage at once. Come on. My reverse flash is stunned, so I don't understand. Uh, Oh wow. I really wasn't expecting her to uh I really wasn't expecting her to block so quickly after doing that special. That's another thing I have noticed with um AI as of recently. Um I wouldn't say it came with update 5.0, but I would say that um char AI characters have a tendency to block really quickly right after do they do a special even though we can't do the same. Which I think is not particularly fair, if I'm gonna be honest. Like I, I wish I had the same ability where I could just like dash back or block immediately after doing a special. But I mean, it's it is what it is. I guess that's how they program the AI to work, and we can't really do anything about it. Which is all good. I'm not complaining. All right. This is Nightmare Batman's uh, three second thing, three second ambush. Good thing is, I can't really do any specials because JLSM will try again. Bye bye, Man of Steel. You had a good run. <laughs> Gotta be very careful of the Batman and the Superman if they're on the same team. I wonder if I could take him out right now. Yes, I can. I'm gonna power swap. Nope. Okay. The power shot tends to work only when I have less, when I have more power than the uh, opponent. That, sometimes it's not the best. There it is. So I'm gonna tag Aquaman right back in and probably do a, another special too. This time it didn't crit, which is unfortunate. This Nightmare Batman also has, a, it seems to have a lethal. Another one that didn't crit is all good. This one crits. Let's go. Another power drain. Let's go. All good. Don't don't jump. Thank you. See, one shot class. This is the one shot class. Even in T7, if I really tried, I think I could one shot P1 with this. Maybe if I use Raven and Doctor Fate, I could probably one shot T7 P1. I would actually want to try that. Next time I get assigned uh, P1, I'm gonna try it see how it goes the thing is I have to get my Raven gameplay straight because sometimes I forget how long her boost lasts and let's 
so this is a uh, tanky Powder. Oh, just, oh wow, wow. Attack right back out just to save him. So we're coming in strong today, huh? Oh, he has that. He has a father box. Yeet. All right, no problem. You, you, yeah, you got the father box. Did my six star Aquaman just take out a seven star? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You'll beg for mercy soon. Got that. Bye bye. One more. Oh, okay. She was faster somehow. <laughs> I was tapping my screen like crazy, but the game was like, nah, you're gonna lose this one. Father boxing coming. Yeah, I'm gonna swap real quick. Okay. Okay, cool. And you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, sometimes you either have it or you don't have it. <laughs> but no, we're gonna redeem ourselves with the last fight, okay? I promise. Don't go away yet, please. I beg. Just. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. I, no, no, we got this. We got this. I don't know what just happened. I think he had some lethals in there as well. Gr granted, my character, my my team didn't especially have damage. I mean, uh, defense. So maybe that's why we died so quickly. <laughs> Come on, please don't dash back and do special one. Thank you. And then there's that, of course. For the record, I dashed. You can see my reverse flash is tagged in. But it's all good. Can I win this, though? I'm not sure about that. Push yourself harder. Even Darkseid's barrier has lethal. That's insane. Okay. Can you stop Batman. jumping, please? I can't even do specials because it's a... Okay. I don't like that I'm lagging right now. There's no place to hide. Okay. I lost reverse flash. Why am I lagging right now? Okay, I'm uh, my swipes. Okay, you know what? My point still stands. We won freaking four battles. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> All right, look, my build, it's not the perfect one. Yes, it's probably gonna lose against characters whose specialty is lethal damage, because to be honest, my character has no resistance whatsoever. So against attack like that so, you know i'm not gonna sugarcoat this i'm not gonna say oh my build is the best build of all time it could do anything against any character no if you're all for one shotting if you're a t6 player if you're a t7 player if you're all for one shotting bosses none of the bosses in solo le uh, in um in raid leagues have lethal i think maybe captain cole has a little bit maybe i would say maybe grod even that's a long shot but like none of them have lethal damage specifically like the ninja team does or the teams that are always fighting in arena do. So if you're all for one-shotting bosses and you don't have any seven-star characters and you don't have any of the artifacts from like the Prometheum set or the the Advent of Chaos set or the freaking Kryptonian set or even, even the, uh, the Apocalypse set, if you have no solo raid artifacts, this build is the way to go because you don't have to re rely on any artifacts. As you can see, I had no artifacts on my Aquaman. Aquaman. Literally nothing. All I had was gear 70 and the stats are right here. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. Yes, it's not the best. Yes, some builds are out there where there's only attack. So they could have like around like 6.7, 7k attack and no defense, no crit damage, no crit chance. And if you want to even sacrifice fast attack chance for attack, people, so I've, believe me, I've seen I've seen some people do that. Although that's not really uh, my preference. But hey, this is the one shot KOA build. Let me know in the comments which character do you guys want to see me break down and use in arena. 
and we'll go through all the stats and all the gear rolls and everything. Thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.